You need to spend a ton of money to build a website, or do you? Yep, that's right. There are plenty of free website builders available. Some of them might waste your time just to hit you with the paywall in the end. In today's review, I'll cover the best free website builder options and show you how to create and maintain a sleek professional website without spending a dime. The first free website builder that comes to mind is WordPress. It is indeed the most popular and highly customizable builder, but it's not easy to use. You might also need specific plugins, which aren't always free. Then there's another issue as well. It doesn't come with hosting, meaning you'll need to pair WordPress with hosting, either by self-hosting, which is a complicated, tedious, and time-consuming process. Alternatively, you can use one of the many hosting providers, which is a better option in the long run. Hostinger is one of the better options for this. It's recommended by WordPress developers themselves, which is already a great sign. In fact, Hostinger's integration with WordPress is so convenient that all you need to do is click one button with its one-click installer to get started. And if you ever feel lost or need assistance, there's an extensive tutorial database and a friendly support team to lean on. But that's not all. Hostinger has an AI troubleshooter that performs well, as well as an AI chat to solve any issues fast. Honestly, there are so many little improvements Hostinger made for WordPress that you should experience them yourself. You can get a discount for the hosting plan in the description below, so go save money and give it a try. However, that's not all Hostinger has to show. It comes with a website builder too. I know, I know it's not a free website builder, but it does come with an interesting opportunity. You and your friends can easily get a subscription and have different sites on it, making its costs close to free as long as your friend forgets your site is there like he did with his Netflix account. Other than that, there's a 30 day money back guarantee too. First, let's see what the Hostinger website builder features are. Hostinger is quick to adopt the latest tech trends, harnessing AI tools to make website building easier. What I like about Hostinger AI is that it actually works instead of being just a marketing trick. I can simply describe the purpose of the website I'm trying to build and Hostinger AI works its magic. After that, I can easily tweak the results with a drag and drop editor, adjusting layouts, images, and colors until my heart's content. Alternatively, if you don't wanna mess around with an AI website builder, templates are here for you. There are quite a few of these designer-made templates, so you'll be able to create a nice looking website with no issues at all. But what if you wanted to combine both the templates and AI? You can fuse those to leverage Hostinger's website builder potential. Granted, not all templates can be combined with the AI, and there are not many of them. But Hostinger is always improving, so I'm positive that the template library will expand over time. Let me show you what it looks like in action. Adjusting elements is easy, as well as cruising through all the settings. Yes, there are only around 14 elements, but honestly, that's more than enough for most websites. It's one of the best website builder options for beginners, surely. Hostinger AI tools can be leveraged here by generating appealing visuals or creating compelling copywriting pieces with the AI writer. There's even an AI SEO assistant to optimize your website and get more traffic. SEO is one of the most complex things in the world of websites, so any help here is welcome. That said, Hostinger does have limitations. While its great assistance is nice for neatly organizing all the elements, it can also limit design customizability. This might concern advanced users wanting to tweak and change more details on their website. Another thing to remember is that Hostinger's e-commerce tool has a limit of 500 products. It's enough for a medium-sized shop, but not so much for a bigger project. Hostinger is planning to increase the limit though, so that's nice to hear. These are minor complaints when you consider Hostinger's pricing. It's close to costing pennies, as you can get an all-in-one plan with both hosting and a website builder included. So it's definitely worth checking out, as other providers don't always have such an option. If you're considering Hostinger already, grab the best possible price by using our link in the description or through the QR code on screen. Next, we got Wix, which has better e-commerce capabilities than Hostinger and is entirely free for starters. However, it does have a few downsides. Besides having a cool name, Wix has an equally modern and attractive user interface. Adding, moving, and editing basic elements is straightforward, even for first-time users. While Wix is user-friendly for creating simple websites, it can get complicated really fast if you're looking to polish the design. It will undoubtedly take time to learn all the ins and outs of the builder. Professionals or already proficient users will surely benefit from the many design choices. But for beginners, the steep learning curve can be a bit of a turnoff. If we compare it with Hostinger, which streamlines the user experience and leans towards beginners. Wix is still accessible to beginners, but gravitates more towards advanced users. This brings us to Wix's functionality. Standout features like its e-commerce suite, 
great for managing small to medium sized businesses. Wix AI powered tools, built in SEO features, and email marketing are all great tools to make you more efficient and successful in building your website. There's also a mobile Wix app, meaning you can manage your website on the go. Overall, Wix impresses me with its wide range of tools. It doesn't matter if you're building a blog, portfolio, or a fully fledged online store. Wix offers the right features for you to leverage. You might be thinking, fantastic, all of this for free? I won't ever need to pay up and get the premium. Well, Wix's free version does come with a few important limitations. First, you can't connect to a custom domain. This isn't ideal since your website won't look as professional and its SEO results will be impacted too. It's worth getting the subscription just for these reasons alone. Sure, your website won't cost you money, but who's gonna visit a website called jag0453blogs.wixwebsites.com? Let me answer it for you, hardly anybody. Wix's free version also comes with branding on your site. If you're looking to build a professional looking website showcasing the builder you use for it, well, it doesn't look great. Couple this with one gigabyte of monthly bandwidth, 500 megabytes of free storage space, and the upgrade to premium seems almost inevitable. Speaking of which, Wix is not the most affordable option out there. It's still worth it though, and you can make it less expensive with my deal in the description below. Just like with any other provider I'll cover today, go save money. Next up is Site123, another free website builder. Site123 is an easy to use alternative to Wix or a cost-free alternative to Hostinger's Builder. However, it does come with more limitations than those two. Let's start with the UI, it's super simple. Even if you've never built a website before, you'll have no problem weaving all the pieces together into a professional looking website. The Site123 website builder is intuitive and accessible and the features cover all the basics too like the ability to sell products online, SEO tools, and email marketing options. However, if you're looking to build a proper business website, you'll need to get the premium version to unlock the platform's full potential. And while the simplicity of the builder is good for beginners, its narrow set of features also means it'll be harder for your site to stand out. Most websites will look alike. So basically, you're trading off ease of use and accessibility for originality. For example, one of the downsides of the free version is a mandatory subdomain. It just doesn't look professional. I guess it could pass if you're building a casual blog, but for a proper business, not really. Moreover, the free version limits design flexibility and template selection, and you won't be able to accept online payments without a paid plan, which is the biggest deal breaker. Imagine relying on cash or handwritten letters for your e-commerce project. Yeah, not a wonderland. The good news is that premium plans are reasonably priced. The price scales depending on your needs, so you'll pay less if you only need a personal website and not a business one. You can even pay for 10 years up front, which is a rather interesting way to save on hosting, though I wouldn't personally recommend it. Either way, if you wanna get an even better deal, get one through the link in the description below. Framer is another website builder we need to discuss. Wanna build an eye candy of a website with visceral animations and a sleek interactive design? With a thousand templates, 400 of which are free, Framer's got you covered. It also features an integrated content management system if you need it. Other notable freebies include an SSL certificate, the ability to create unlimited projects, and free publishing. Overall, Framer offers extensive design capabilities and Framer AI-assisted tools to simplify and accelerate the creative process. Just know, there is a steep learning curve. Framer's AI results also vary during my testing. So if your first attempt doesn't hit the mark, tweak your prompt and try again. With the free version, you can still publish websites, but they'll carry the Framer subdomain. Plus you're limited to 100 megabytes of bandwidth per month, which is basically nothing. For perspective, that's a couple of images and maybe 20 site visitors before you max out. To actually launch your site properly, you'll need to upgrade to a premium plan. The pricing is on the steeper side, especially compared to the competition. But if you're a design enthusiast or professional, Framer might still be worth every penny. Overall, to launch a proper website without limitations, you'll need to go premium. There are decent free website builders out there, but even the best free website builder still requires hosting, and that'll cost something. So in the end, paying is kind of inevitable. That said, my top picks for testing things out are Site123 and Wix. They're limited, sure, but great for getting a feel for how website building works. Truth be told, you'll still need a premium for a proper website. For more design-focused users, Framer is worth considering, though the price tag is a bit heavier. Personally, I think Hostinger is the best all-around option. It's beginner-friendly, mid-level friendly, and combines hosting plus builder into one super affordable package. It easily takes the crown here. 
If you're planning to go premium with any of these providers, don't forget to use the links in the description to save some serious money. And if you're not ready now, no worries. Those links stay updated, so come back anytime. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.